Unit 1. Flow of an ABAP program. Lesson overview. In this lesson, you will learn how a simple dialog program is executed by the SAP NetWeaver application server. Business example. At the end of this lesson, you will learn the architecture of the SAP NetWeaver application servers as well as the execution of ABAP programs. System Architecture and ABAP Program The SAP Web Application Server has a modular architecture that follows the software-oriented client-server principle. The system architecture has three layers. The Presentation Server layer, the Application Server layer, and the Database Server layer. Normally, you install a SAP Graphical User Interface in the Presentation Server layer. The lowest level is the database level. Here, data is managed with the help of a relational database man management system. This data includes, apart from application data, the programs and the metadata that the SAP system requires for self-management. The ABAP programs run at the application server level. That is, both the applications provided by SAP and the ones you develop yourself. The ABAP programs read data from the database, process the data, and possibly store data. The third level is the presentation server level. This level contains the user interface where each user can access the program, enter new data, and receive the results of a work process. ABAP programs are processed on the application server. The design of user dialogues and database accesses is of particular importance when writing application programs. The user is only interested in how his or her business transaction flows how data can be entered and output within the transaction. The technical aspects of programming are less interesting for the user. To the average user, the SAP system is like a black box. The application server layer and the database server layer will be the black box for the user. The user doesn't know what's going on in these layers. They are only worried with the presentation server layer. They work with theme pros, selection screens, and lists. There are three different types of screens. Standard screens, selection screens, and lists. Each type of screen provides different services to the user. Let's talk about the runtime architecture of a program with selection screen and list. Whenever a user logs onto the system, a screen is displayed. From this screen, the user can start in a bad program through the menu path. Okay, so now let's log on to the system and let's start in a bad program from the menu path. First, you need the SAP logon. You have to download and install the SAP logon graphical user interface. This is the client you will need to connect to a server. Once you install the SAP logon, you are ready to start the ABAP training course. Let's see some options about this window. As you can see, this is the SAP graphic, usi graphic user interface for Windows. This is the 730 final release. Here you can create 
more than one connection to different servers. For example, I have all these connections to different servers. Because I work with SAP a lot, I connect to different servers. Uh, in this window, you can create a new connection by clicking this little icon. You can edit an existing connection, you can delete an existing connection, and you have more views to display your connection. For example, the explorer view, the list view, and the one that I'm currently using, the tree view. To log on to the system, we double click on the ABAP training connection. You need a username and a password to log on to the system. I type my username and password. I select the language. In this case, I want the screens to be displayed in English. So I type EN and I press Enter. Now I'm inside the SAP system. Here I can navigate using the menu path. I'm going to start a program now by using the menu path and navigating to the SAP different transactions. For example, right now I'm gonna navigate transaction SE38. That is the ABAP editor. I type in SD38 and I press enter. Inside the ABAP editor, I can look at the different options that I have for a program. This is the ABAP editor for programs. For example, I can create a new program, display a program, or change an existing program. Right now, we just want to run a program. Uh, SAP comes with a lot of different standard programs, so I j I'm just going to run a simple calculator that comes with SAP. So I search for this program, ptrv underscore start underscore calculator, and I run my program. To run my program, I click on the little icon that is called the execute button. I run my program and my calculator is displayed. I can try it by multiplying two numbers and looking at the result. The calculator is working fine. So that's how you run a simple program in a BAP. So now let's examine another program. Let's take a look at the flow of the program V a l v s d zero one we're gonna type in that name and we're gonna run that program so now the system loads the program context the program context contains memory areas for variables and complex data objects information on the screens for user dialogues and ABAP processing blocks. The runtime system gets all this program information from the repository, which is a special part of the database. The sample program has a selection screen as the user dialog, a variable and a structure as data objects, and one ABAP processing block. The list used to display the data is created dynamically at runtime. Inside our program, this will be our selection screen. And if we navigate to our source code, we can do that by pressing back. And in this screen, just clicking on display. Here we can see your data objects, that will be all our variables that we declare. And our ABAP processing block will be your actual code 
that is going to be executed by the system. So this will be our ABAP processing block. Now the runtime system sends selection screen. Since the program contains a selection screen, the ABAP runtime system sends it to the presentation server. The presentation server controls the program flow for as long as the user has not finished entering data in the input field. Selection screens allow users to enter selection criteria required by the program for it to continue. When, you, when the selection screen is displayed, then input values are inserted into data objects. As soon as the user has finished entering data on the selection screen, he or she can trigger further processing of the program by choosing Execute. The enter data is automatically placed in its corresponding data object in the program and the above runtime system resumes control of processing. The ABAP runtime system triggers sequential processing of this, of this ABAP processing block. Mm. Then the program requests data re record from database. Read access to the database is programmed in the ABAP processing block. Information about which database table is accessed and which row in the table is read is passed to the database on the database server layer. After that, the database returns data record to program. The database returns the requested data record to the program and the runtime system ensures that this data is placed in the appropriate data objects. Finally, runtime system sends list. The layout of the subsequent list display is programmed into the processing block. After its completion, the runtime system sends this list as a screen to the presentation server. Now, back in our SAP screen, let's run our program and take a look at the flow of our, of our ABAP program. So, we go back to the ABAP editor and we run our program. We input some data in the input fields, for example, for the airline carrier let's look for an example in the system let's use the american airlines carrier and we're gonna leave all of these other fields blank and leave these options as they are so the system can return more results for the american airlines carrier so now we run our program pressing the execute button and now as we can see the system displays for us a list showing us all, all of the information for the American Airline Carrier. You should now be able to describe the principles of the architecture of the SAP NetWeaver application server and describe how a simple dialog program is executed by the ABAP runtime system.